Oh, hi there. Oh my gosh. Are the glasses still here? Yes, because guess what? I still look like a hot mess. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And, and if you see me fiddling today, it's because I'm nervous, because I'm about to film a video that I feel could be an issue. And it's my thoughts about YA. Do I hate YA? Totally clickbaited you, I don't hate YA. Hey! <laughs> no, I really don't hate YA. I, I, I just thought that I should put that in the title. <laughs> just to see how many people have subscribed from that alone. Anyway, so it's not like a big secret that I don't read a lot of YA. It's not a big secret that, because if you're, you're, you're here, so I'm guessing that you, if, and if it is a big secret to you, um, hi. I don't read a lot of YA. And I thought I would discuss a little bit about that. Now, before we get into it, I want to say that, number one, I don't hate YA. Number two, I don't think YA is any less important than any other genre. I mean, come on now, guys, I read sci-fi. Like, I, I straight up have Starship Troopers and Battlefield Earth on my, on my shelves as books that I like. I'm not... I'm not talking about literary merit here, all right? I just want to get that out there because I feel, and I'm going to link a video up in the cards and then below from my uh, friend Sarah that she talks about how people get really like bristly when you mention YA. It's like, it's like if you say anything that is remotely not positive about it, then like the hordes come in and, and, and you're like Jon Snow in that one scene from Game of Thrones. You know, like, Ugh! and the horse and the shit and whatever. So, yeah, it's not that I think YA sucks. I don't think YA sucks. First of all, YA is one of the reasons why we have so many readers now. When reading kind of went out of fashion for a while and it was only for nerds. You are such a nerd. Shut up. So, how am I going to hate on that? Like, I don't want to hate on that. I don't also don't want to talk about literary merits of YA or lack of literary merit in YA because there is there are so many books in YA that's like talking about the literary merits of fit fantasy of or I don't know or of sci-fi like there are books that in sci-fi that have a lot of literary merit and then you got Starship Troopers you know and also Nobody should be reading for literary merit for fun. Like, I mean, maybe you are, I don't know. But in my mind, reading for hobby means that you're reading for enjoyment. Therefore, you are not reading for literary merit. You're reading to enjoy yourself, okay? So, I'm not gonna discuss the literary merits of YA because, also because I didn't study English in the university, so who am I to be discussing the literary merit of anything? I am just the girl on the internet that really likes to read and who doesn't enjoy reading YA. And I want to tell you the reasons why I don't enjoy reading YA that have nothing to do with the things that I just mentioned. So if you're still here after that, first of all, thank you. Second of all, here are the reasons why I don't like reading YA. The first reason I don't like reading YA is getting a little bit personal, but you know, we've talked about the fact that I used to work for a porn magazine writing smut and the fact that I really like books about incest. So at this point, really, what am I gonna tell you? <laughs> but basically, I didn't enjoy being a teenager. I had a really difficult time um, when I was a teenager. I went through something really, really difficult. I, I, don't, I don't know how, how, much of that I want to disclose because again the internet's forever and it's not that I'm ashamed of things but it's that I also am a teacher and these things are out here so I don't know how much of it I want to disclose but let's let me just say that I went through a lot of things that kids that are teenagers shouldn't go through including the fact that um, I lost my first husband whom I married when I was 18 to an overdose and depression. So don't worry, it's okay, don't worry. I know that when people talk about these things, people are like, oh my God, and, and it gets really intense, but I'm, I'm fine, it's, 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 I'm fine. 
um, I've dealt with these emotions. It's been a long time. But basically, a lot of YA books are written from teenage perspectives. And the thing is, I don't like to remember a lot. Like, I don't, I don't get enjoyment out of reading from teenage perspectives because it puts me in my teenage mindset. And as much as I've gotten over all of those things and I am good now and everything's great, I don't want to be reminded of those times. Therefore, I tend to steer away from books that are of the typical YA age, which is from the perspective of somebody that's from like 16 to like the like early 20s. I tend to stay away from that simply because I don't like to be reminded of what it was like being 16 to my early 20s. That that is the point number one i don't want to get any more into it and i don't want you guys to feel like i don't know like like you have to be feel sorry for me or anything it's just the reality of it some people really enjoyed being a teenager some people just really didn't enjoy being a teenager some people enjoy being an adult some people enjoy being a kid i didn't enjoy being a teenager and that is usually the ages in which ya kind of is framed with that being said there are plenty of adult books and fiction books that are set in being a teenager but YA really focuses on character study and the feelings and thoughts of teenagers while other books in other genres might not okay so again it's just a question of I I want to enjoy what I'm reading and if I'm constantly thinking about the time when I was a teenager I'm just not gonna enjoy that at all. Also, by the way, if you hear like clacking Rodrigo's here and he's working so <laughs> Just ignore it <laughs> It's not it's not you. It's me. Yeah uh, Other than that the fact that I went through all of these experiences as a teenager kind of made me grow up really fast And so I don't I feel very removed from most teenage characters. The ones that don't really get to me because they're very similar to me, I don't feel connected to. So I just really don't connect to characters that like have to ask permission to go out. I never had to ask permission to go out, mostly because I didn't go out a lot. Or, um, and also because I left home when I was 17, so I kind of began to live and like, mm, away from my parents so when i see like teenagers asking their parents for permission that's a problem i had with the book renegades by marissa meyer you know asking for permission a parent there my parents were really hands off so i just i don't connect with the characters honestly um and, it, and that's not just a ya thing that's a general thing of my books when I don't I just don't connect with teenage characters because I feel that the, the teenage life I lived was not like the the stereotypical teenage life that we see in books which is funny because that leads me to another point which is that I hate to read these books about teenagers where they act like adults just age your character up and make them an adult you know I, I hate when I'm reading a, a, a YA story and I'm like, where are the parents at? You know, and I know that this sounds like it kind of contradicts my first point, but if you're going to write a teenage character, write them as a teenager. If not, just give me an adult character with adult problems. You know, don't give me a teenager with teenage problems, but also with adult issues. Because the reality of the situation is teenagers don't have most of them okay uh, i know there are exceptions but we have it's been scientifically established that our brains up until a certain point don't have the ability to deal with certain issues nor should teenagers be dealing with certain issues anyway but when a teenager starts to make decisions that look like adult decisions even though I have worked with plenty of teenagers and I know these are fantastical words, worlds and everything but it just takes me out of it and I'm like why are why did you decide to make this decision to make this character 16 instead of 26 it just doesn't and I know why I know it's because a lot of the times authors find that their book isn't selling enough if they don't do that and the publishers make them change the ages of the characters 
that is something that is that you can look up on your own but that is a real thing so i just don't feel connected to these characters that are acting like adults but are actually teenagers with teenage problems but but then they're bringing down the government you know um i just don't connect with that at all the other thing is i yeah i like to see myself in characters not see myself or at least be able to envision myself in in the play that, that's the point you know the idea of getting in a story is when you can feel the story and maybe the character's not like you but there's something there that kind of hooks hooks to you <laughs> what am I doing <laughs> like that hooks you like that draws you in and the reality is that at this point in my life I have been living on my own for so long I have other problems and I know that you some people read for escapism again this is nothing against you and if you read YA and you feel really awesome reading YA I am for that I am for you enjoying what you enjoy but the thing is, I don't enjoy when I can't find a common place with a character. Like anything, anything in common. In fact, if you see my, um, well, you haven't ever seen me review Dune. But the reality is, I love Dune because of Jessica more than Paul. Because I can see myself in Jessica. I'm at the age where I'm thinking about having children. I'm at the age where, you know, I, I think not more as a mother because I'm not a mother, but that I think that I associate with her more than with Paul, who is a kid, who, who is a 16-year-old boy. Literally, I, I don't care. Oh, I do care for Paul. I mean, he's Mwadib, you know, you know. But the reality is, I was reading the book for Jessica the whole time. That's the, that's the thing. It's just that I associate more with the problems of adults in books than with kids in books. Now you might be thinking, I read a lot of middle grade. So how does that come into play when I say that I want to associate with the characters? That's because I really enjoyed being a child. And reading from the perspective of children brings me a lot of joy. Whereas reading from the perspective of a teenager brings me a lot of sorrow, okay? It just, it just does. It brings me not, not the best memories. That's, we already established that. So, it's nothing against YA. It really isn't. I think there are so many wonderful YA books out there, but they're just not for me. They aren't. And it's got nothing to do with literary merit because who the freak are we to talk about literary merit? I mean, we are we're just readers i i can talk about the merits of films because i did study filmmaking and film analysis and film theory but i can't talk about literary merit and you know what even some films that have a lot of like cinematographer merit and, and artistic merit there you go a lot of films that have artistic merit I don't like so it's 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 just stupid to me that this whole YA is not good enough whatever and, and also whatever if it's not good enough for somebody well fuck them you know but in my case I just don't enjoy it and really it's not that deep <laughs> it's not it's really not that deep it's not about the romances uh, it's not about the the depth of character growth or something because honestly i think sometimes uh why deals with a lot of complex emotions because teenagers have a lot of complex emotions and again YA is a is is also not like a book genre it's more of an age range so books aimed at this age range tend to talk about issues that pertain to this age range and that is not an age range that I enjoyed myself, honestly. It really wasn't. So, so that's it. That's the hot take. I didn't enjoy my teenage years. Therefore, I don't like to be reminded of them when I read. But I do read some YA. That's the thing. Sometimes it just so clicks. And I can read YA without an issue. But... Most of the time, you'll notice that in my wrap-ups, I just don't read it. 
and there is just nothing else to say. Really, I thought this video was gonna be more controversial or something, but the reality is it's just that it's really just a simple video of me saying, hey, this time in my life kind of wasn't the best, so I don't like to be reminded of that. That's, that's, if you want to skip all that and come here and <laughs> listen to that, we're cool. Again, please, please don't feel like you have to feel sorry for me that, oh my god, Monica didn't enjoy her teenage years because in the end, I learned a lot and in the end, I enjoy, if you think about it, it's such a small period of my life compared to my whole life that I am not worried about it. My life is wonderful and has been wonderful even with the bad parts. So there you go. Without anything else to say on the subject because there's really nothing else to say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with these book chats. I know they're not to everyone's taste, but I really enjoy making them. So they're unscripted, my thoughts and all. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm really tired. Um, I've been having a rough couple of weeks and I think the last two weeks, it really just came down on me, you know? So you're gonna see the glasses for the rest of the videos that I filmed this week, and I hope that that's okay with you because honestly, I look kinda cute with glasses, not gonna lie, girl. Also, my natural hair. <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> Uh, that's it. That's that. I have nothing else to say. I thank you so much for watching guys really and thank you if you Understand what I'm trying to say here because sometimes I feel I don't understand myself and if you do understand me Then maybe we can be friends <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye